Hi class, another temperature topic that we need to talk about is heat index. So let's start with looking at our temperature map again. Notice here the region of high temperatures, basically all this pink area is in the 90s. So now we'll look at the heat index. And remember, heat index is telling us the apparent heat. That's the heat, the temperature that you actually feel um, because the, the apparent temperature will vary with the amount of humidity in the air. The more humid that it is, the less evaporation that we feel or that we that occurs on our skin when we perspire. And so the less that cooling effect um, helps us out. Our perspiration evaporating on our skin is a cooling effect. And when the air is really humid, there's less evaporation. And so we aren't cooled off as much. So we feel the heat a lot more intensely. So let's go flip back to temperature. And so notice over here in Arizona and New Mexico, the temperatures are in the 90s, but the heat index is actually a little lower than that. And that's because the air is really dry over here. And so um, we experience some of that cooling effect and the heat index is a little bit lower, whereas the heat index is pretty high throughout Texas and Louisiana where we, the air is a lot more humid, um, the humidity is higher, and so the evaporation and cooling effects are lower. Um, let's see what we have for wind chill. Nothing. Well, because wind chill really only applies when we have cooler temperatures. Um, and remember, wind chill is our apparent temperature when you add the wind, because the wind will actually take some of your body heat away and make you feel colder than the actual temperature is. So where in the world would we expect to find a wind chill map? Well, let's head down to the southern hemisphere. Let's look at what's happening in Australia right now. So our, well, let's go back to temperature here. So temperatures in Australia are down in the, oh, 50s, 40s, and a little bit in the 30s. So if we click on the wind chill map, we can see in those colder areas, they're actually telling you what the apparent temperature is based on the wind chill. And they give us heat index information in the areas that are hotter. We will also see uh, this same kind of effect if we look at a map of Europe right now. So let's look at temperature of Europe. We can see it's cooler in the United Kingdom, warmer down here in Portugal and Spain, warmer in um, southern Europe and Asia and the Middle East here. And if we look at heat index, we can see where we would, how we would feel the temperature in those parts. But then up in the northern part of Europe, they actually give you wind chill because the temperatures are cooler there.